An autonomous weapons system is a weapon with the capacity to identify, select, and administer lethal or non-lethal force to a target. This entire process is devoid of human intervention. It works by employing a generalized target profile. It does not know who or what it will target until the target it was programmed to hit is identified. There is no way for an AWS to anticipate civilians at potential target sites. It may be able to mediate for civilian casualties with facial recognition and image classification. However, there remains no concrete way to completely eliminate the risk of civilian casualty. This poses an issue to the principle of human dignity, which entails a necessity to preserve civilian life during combat. An AWS does not understand the significance or value of human life. It cannot comprehend what it means to take a life and carry that burden indefinitely. Unlike a soldier at war, AWS fundamentally undermines human life unless wars are entirely fought by these technologies. Because wars are still fought by people, they must follow combat regulations issued by International Humanitarian Law, or IHL. There are three important rules of IHL to consider in the context of AWS use. Number one, the rule of distinction. There must be a distinction between civilians and military targets. These distinctions must be approved prior to the attack and remain valid until the attack occurs. This is an issue for AWS because their targeting function does not establish and identify targets prior to attack. Number two, the rule of proportionality. The justification of an attack as long as the benefit of the military objective outweighs the harm brought to civilians. To apply this rule to an AWS, we would require an algorithm with an exact threshold for what is considered an acceptable civilian harm to military benefit ratio which is not fundamentally feasible. Number three, the rule of precautions. Militaries must seek to minimize the level of harm inflicted upon civilian entities. This would be justifiable if the accuracy rate of an AWS could be 100%. Because that is unrealistic, the most valid way to justify the use of AWS under this condition is by comparing cases in which an AWS outperformed human or semi-autonomous military tactics. Unfortunately, the data for this is currently insufficient. The current precedents set by IHL do not adequately encapsulate regulations and ethical frameworks concerning the use of AWS, although they could provide us with the necessary groundwork to do so. So who should be held responsible for the outcomes of AWS attacks? Because AWS functions without human intervention, it would be unreasonable to hold individuals accountable for the consequences these technologies produce. Manufacturers of these systems are simply selling products that meet market demands. These demands are made by governments, private military organizations, and individuals with high degrees of military influence. These are the most obvious culprits. We should ensure through political activism, the revision of IHL, in consultation with relevant legal experts, that those entities which represent the pinnacle of power in modern society are adequately regulated, monitored, and potentially punished for their use and implementation of AWS technologies. Mm -hmm.